Well, it was a pretty good profit season, better than last year anyway. 68% of companies increased profit, 54% beat expectations, and 69% saw their share prices go up afterwards. And in each case, that was better than last year. Today, there was a $2.45 billion profit from Woolworths. It's still losing money in its new master's home improvement chain, but making plenty in supermarkets, Dan Murphy's and hotels. Harvey Norman increased profit nearly 50% to $211 million, which was better than expectations. Transfield Services shares jumped 24% after the company actually made a profit this year of $53 million, which was a $300 million turnaround from last year. But Virgin Australia had another shocker as it slugs it out with Qantas. This year's loss of $355.6 million was more than three times last year's and the share price fell as a result. But Qantas had another good session today following its big loss yesterday. Global markets were quiet apart from Russia where prices fell more than 3% because of the threat of more sanctions and the iron ore price just keeps falling down below 88 now. Base metals also fell but oil and gold went up. The Australian dollar broadly steady today at around 93.5 US cents. Private sector credit in July were today's economic data, up a bit more than expected, mostly due to the housing boom, which is in turn due to the biggest rise in residential investment in more than 10 years. And most of that is going into high-rise apartments. But one thing that's not booming is term deposits, which is no wonder given the low interest rates on offer. The growth of them is now zero. And finally, this is why interest rates are so low everywhere. It's a graph of the number of OECD countries with inflation below 1%. And that's finance.